Jason, last season the Knicks were 37 and 23 in their first in their final 60 games, a 51 win pace, and won their first playoff series since 2013. Do you have any lingering doubts about this team headed into the season, or have you fully bought in to the Villanova Knicks? I am not bought in. They are what they are, which is a solid playoff team, I believe. They got lucky with health last year, and hopefully that continues. It was a big basketball summer for, you know, R.J. Barrett and, and Jalen. Uh, but hopefully they're healthy. They added Dante. So, you know, a little retooling around the edges, but the core is solid. Um, Fibs has them playing the way he wants. Um, and they are a, they're a good team. They're a, just a solid, good team. And I like it. I like it. After, I mean, you mentioned the first uh, playoff <laughs> win since 2013. That's crazy. Back in the back in the East is big days. I mean, it's it's really really nuts. So it's nice to have a team that is looks like it's going to go to the playoffs for uh, for another year uh, and has a really good chance to at least get into the second round. You can hear him trying to talk himself into this. What are you talking about? There's nothing. I've talked myself into. I've talked myself into so much worse than this. Yeah. When it, when I thought when Dan Tony came on, I'm like, yeah, we're going to the finals. <laughs> so I, I, I really, I am, I'm very, very happy with what's happening right now. Would I love another star? Yeah. I mean, is Joel Embiid happy? I wouldn't be happy. Maybe he's looking for another, another place that's, you know, within easy driving distance of where he's been living. I don't know, but, uh, but I'm happy with the way things are going right now. Well, let me ask you about that because as is tradition with the Knicks, the search for the yeah. next star, always a topic of conversation. Yes. And now that they have a good team, they have extra picks, young players, those conversations mm-hmm. are ramping up again. Are you one of those Knicks fans where you're just focused on this team? You're not thinking about the next trade because you've been hurt in the past? Or are you carefully monitoring multiple situ- situations around the league in your Knicks bunker right now? Sure, I think I'm. You know, we're monitoring. I think you put – your finger on it, which is the Knicks historically have been a team that has always been looking across the street where the grass is greener, where the uh, superstars are hoping that one will shake loose and often paying through the nose for one that does shake loose. I I think what's great about this current regime is they've been doing that, but doing it smarter, holding on to their assets, not going in on players when the price is deemed too high. I think that's been uh, successful for them thus far, keeping the powder dry when they really do have an opportunity. It can feel a little like nothing's happening, but sometimes not making a move is good. And I think that's the case right now. So yeah, I'm monitoring. Let's see what happens with Philly and various other teams. So Jason, James Dolan has been the bane of Knicks fans existence for decades now, (laughs) but Has the Las Vegas sphere changed your opinion of Dolan? And do you think that being distracted by the sphere has contributed to the Knicks' recent success? Yes. Yes. Unquestionably, yes. If you look at that 2013 run, what was going on? James Dolan and his his, uh, musical uh, project, uh, JD and the Straight Shot, uh, were opening for, I believe, the Eagles that summer. Like that Mm. year, they were on tour with the Eagles. Uh, Why did this happen? Because James Dolan used his uh, leverage in the industry as, I think at that time, a chairman of of Ticketmaster or Live Nation or something like that to be able to get himself the opening act for big acts. And what happened? The Knicks were good that season. I think the sphere is is great. A lot of buzz about the sphere. James Dolan clearly uh, very, very happy with what's going on in the sphere, very, very involved in the sphere. And I think he should continue to do that because it's great for everybody. He loves to do it. It's a passion for him. And the Knicks have been reaping the benefits. 